Greetings, minion survivalists and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 18.4. Not to be confused with Alpha 19, which has come out just recently. Uh, it's episode 158. And we're just kind of picking up from last episode. Getting things melted down and done. Getting food cooked. Getting gunpowder made. Getting bullets made. Uh, just doing all kinds of stuff all at once. So embrace the madness. <laughs> Alright, so we got all that. Make some more ammo if you need to. I'm going to finish up what's being made over here before I do. Um... Yeah, because there's 1,500 rounds. And I think, well, I, let's see. I want to wait until this is done and then split the stack here so it all melts down. Uh, the cooking's going well. This will be done soon. Then we'll start baking in eggs. Uh, what I need, what I really want to do, since this will be one of the last, well, this will be the last horde night I want to reload all of the turrets so they're all maxed out uh, I want to at some point um, fill in all the missing spike traps uh, I'm not going to repair everything but I just want to replace what's been uh, used up and uh, trying to get that taken care of so that on Horde Night we have essentially a, a, a fresh base as fresh as it can be without repairs anyway and then uh, dealing with a big stack of ugly and then seeing how the base is afterwards and then uh, then comes the big boom. Alright, so this is really... A lot of this is probably not going to be used. Although, I'll, in a, if I save the game... Um, or copy over the saved game. Or copy the saved game to another directory. Jeez, I can't speak. If I copy the, the save game after Horde Night to a different directory, a backup directory, and play the game through. I can always come back in here and, and fiddle around all I, all to my heart's content. Um, but, yeah. Anywho. I want to get this stuff... There we go. Get that taken care of. We have three minutes. Probably need a little bit more... hell if that's if that's more than enough it's more than enough I'm not gonna worry about but the the uh, precise timing for that all right I also want to take care of uh, my sellable goods and I have a lot of books to part with I also have treasure maps um, that I want to uh, find so, um, for right now, just want to make sure this stuff, yep, this is done. Alright, so we're just keeping it all topped off. Um, yeah, that can run as long as it needs to. That's taken care of, so now it's just the ammo being pumped out by this, and that's going to be a while. And that puts out 150, so this will be two stacks, so we can go for a little bit. Uh, for right now, I'm thinking... 
Let's go on a trip. Let's go. Let's do these treasure maps. Okay. Which do I? It's in that direction. So basically, what I what I do is, if I'm at the home location, I read the treasure map, so it puts it in a a certain distance around where I'm currently at. I look up at, at the uh, compass, see where the treasure map is at. So I'm aiming aimed in that general direction, and I just look on the map, scroll around until. There we are. So I'll put a little quick way, uh, waypoint in there. So if I come down through here. Okay, so it's in the burned biome. And I can deal with that. It just helps me find it a little easier. Alright, make sure lock up <clears throat> and away we go Okay, so we're starting to get closer. That's, that's good. And I hope I pack the shovel with me. Let me check real quick. I would suck if I didn't. Okay, I got the shovel with me. Cool, cool, cool. It's a little bit of a drive, but it's not too bad. Now what I would do after I get the treasure is either I would go back to base and then read the next map, which would keep it within a certain distance of my base because that's where I would read it from, or I would just read it at the location I'm at and it would put me even further out. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but think of it like this. You're at a spot on the map, and there's a maximum distance that that treasure's gonna appear to you. So you would draw a, a, a wide circle, and then you, somewhere within that circle is where the treasure will be. So you get to the treasure, dig it up, you can go back, and still be within that circle or you read from your present location and it would still draw a big wide circle on the map from that place so ha <laughs> ha eat it bird Okay, we're, we're close. It's probably down here. Yeah, it's down in the hole. Little bastards. Oh, no you don't. Okay, 
Now I have a method for, I, I know it's changed in alpha 19. Okay, so what I do is I, I look at the compass and as you can see the treasure marker is flashing red. So I move till it is just like that where it keeps moving back behind me. And I, I aim so I'm facing one of the cardinal directions, north, east, south, or west. So what I do is I'm go like that. Alright, so this is that way, and I come over here. Um, I don't need him trying to kill me. Waste not, want not. Alright, so I would be right here. This is facing south. Alright, now I'm facing north. Mostly. Okay, so right there. <clears throat> Get in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's a bit dry. Get in the middle and then go till it disappears. There we go. Alright, so somewhere between these four markers is where the treasure's at. Right, there's a treasure. <laughs> See, I was going to explain that the next thing you should do in this case is make a, a trench about two or three blocks deep. Go one way, and then you skip. And it'll be like you have a, a, a line and then a wall of dirt and then another line because the treasure doesn't take up two block blocks to to do. You, I think you kind of get the idea, but basically it, it helps narrow down your uh, your search. All right, let's go and oh hello. What? There we go. Wasn't as fun that it's not a uh, splody head because I love flaming splody heads. That's just the coolest one. That's the coolest of the cool splody heads. All right. Now that was like 1.5 kilometers from up here. So you draw a circle 1.5 kilometers around. Now, if I did it from the base again, it would be within 1.5 kilometers. But from here, it's going to be another circle, 1.5 kilometers. And I, I kind of want to explore these unexplored areas, so I'm going to just read the next map. Okay, now I'm going to look at the compass and see if I can see the marker right over that way. So it goes back north ish. Okay, so it's back towards my base, which is kind of nice and helpful. Now the new system is actually easier than than this way and boosh that was cool A little fire streamer coming off of them see the new system has it where it, it marks 
where it is on your map and then you get like a circle that actually is visible on the ground and in that circle on the ground somewhere is the treasure I kinda like that better but then again I, it's like hey I just figured out a, a easy way to dig this all up came up with what I think is my own idea I don't recall anybody else doing it like that like I do so I just come up with this 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 way that I think is innovative and helpful and then they undo that system and just say ah here that's where the treasures at just <laughs> the finding is half the fun the thing that sucks is when the treasure melts through the the ground and disappears into the uh, multiverse underneath the ground and you cannot ever pick it up but eh, improvements are are hard Oh, gotta go back. Okay, so I think it's on the road. It's pretty close, or at least close to the road. Okay, so somewhere out. Ooh, it's. Wow, that's right on the road. You can see. Back it up a little bit. Alright. We're looking west. Right there. Alright, so from here we go east, or south rather. Somewhere in that range. Um, yeah, I see you up there. You're not fooling me. Yeah, that's good enough. And then we'll come up this way to get the full range. Okay, so somewhere in this little circle is where the trouble is. Yeah. Time to diggy diggy hole. Now usually I would dig like post to post, skip over a line, and then and dig, but you'll see. I might even find it faster than than that. Right there. Hey, that's nice. All right, and we just pick up frames. At least it was in the middle of the path here. And got some clay out of the deal. That's good. All right, let's uh, head back to base. Drinking and driving, kids. Don't do it. Unless it's a video game, then do it. <laughs> and I'm not even dream drinking anything alcoholic. Although you wouldn't know that based on how I'm driving. <laughs>
Skirt. Okay, uh, let's swap this back. Alright, let's get this, uh, plunder back into the, uh, base. See what is, uh, has been cooked up in our absence. And we'll leave this open. Why not? Okay, we will put... Primitive weapons. <laughs> it was uh, a question asked by uh, Jim Riddell. What's a prim weapon? Is it a, a prissy little thing? <laughs> no, it's just sure hand for primitive bullshit. Alrighty then. Okay, that's all burnt out. Let's just leave that in there. I'm not going to worry about it. And sure enough, I uh, made up some good ammo there. Um, Top that off. And what was I gonna do? Oh yes. Okay, so we're just gonna pick up all our, our moolah and tradable stuff. Keep one of those behind. Oh, I got another treasure map. Okay, well, we'll do that too. And we got all these quests I've done absolutely jack squat with. And I think I've only done one or two in the past, but not on camera. Alright, so... Yeah, we got we got some time left. So we'll do the treasure map. Probably the last treasure map um, until maybe if I do Alpha 19. One thing I heard that they've done, I haven't seen it exactly, is they did make it easier um, they make, uh, on the skill points. They kind of consolidated some stuff and and made it a little bit easier, which, thank God, but um, some things are just kind of, eh. Most of, the, most of the, it seems like, <clears throat> excuse me a moment. It seems like most of the stuff that they did for Alpha 19 is pretty much cosmetic. Which is fine, but gotta have that substance. Alright, so we'll read the last treasure map. Where is it? Oh, it's up here. Somewhere south. Ish. Yeah. And right there. 
pretty much back where we, <laughs> we were at last time. So let's get this last one and see what we can get out of it. Another thing I heard that they've uh, improved in Alpha 19 is uh, optimization. Now I am I am happy about that. Um, I, I've seen Tom Girl Gamer uh, say that really made her her game much more smoother and and play better. Than, uh, than, than Alpha 18, which is great, because I know it seemed like she was playing at a weird um, weird resolution. So I don't know if she's playing on a computer or a laptop, but I used to play at a really weird resolution like, like that, and, um, and of course back then, my, I was making the earliest videos I made Five frames a second. <laughs> really not great. So to hear that gameplay for her has improved makes me wonder how much it's going to improve on my machine, which thanks to Pam and Leo Goodman uh, is a beast. It's a beast. So I shouldn't have any problems. Okay, let's get lined up. All right, so there. Say there. That's fine. And you get your shovel out. All right. That's diggy diggy hole. And that's not road, or that's not uh, dirt. <laughs> That is... There we go. Ta-da! Alright, nothing super spectacular. Oh, I hear doggies. Actually, I'm gonna fill. We're so close to the road here. I'm gonna fill this in so I don't run into it. Hey. 
And we'll put the money up in there. The stuff. We just. Yeah, I could sell that to hell with it. Keep that. put them down here this stuff will we'll keep and then all this will trade away And we'll take care of the trading part in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and learned a dying art, so to speak. <laughs> and I will see you next time. See you later. Twitch. Twitch. <laughs>